This is considered an outdoor ceremony conducted indoors. Military members are reminded to remain covered and render appropriate salutes. As a courtesy to those around you, please silence all cell phones and other electronic devices for the duration of the ceremony. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier General Jason E. Kelly, and the Post Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Eric Oates, welcome to United States Army Training Center and Fort Jackson for the retirement review of two soldiers and graduation of companies Charlie and Delta of the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, the 193rd Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Kiskama Lamar. Let us pray. Lord, we entrust this graduation ceremony into your protective hands. In gratitude to you, almighty God, who calls each one by name, we invoke a special blessing upon our new soldiers. They have worked relentlessly and sacrificed tremendously to attain this milestone. Grant them the ability to rejoice in this achievement. We pray for the command team, drill sergeants, and staff of the 368 Battalion, to the utmost extent of their power, they challenge and crafted these warriors we have today. Continue to bless the work of their hands and bless their families. Finally, Lord, bless the families, guests, and service members in this assembly. In your holy name we pray, amen. amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see standing in formation before you, who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. This review is the last official formation in the career of two lifelong soldiers and for our newest soldiers. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training, but those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos that display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the families and friends of these soldiers, for Jackson extends a very warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of them and are equally honored they have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are graduating soldiers from Charlie Company, the Battalion Gullah Guard, and graduating soldiers from Delta Company. Located on the upper level and providing music and marches for today's ceremony is the 282nd Army Band under the command of Chief Warrant Officer 3, Kevin L. Pig. Identified by their distinctive headgear are the drill sergeants. These dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system, selected on the basis of professional competence, leadership ability, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat goes the most important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Major Tyrone W. Norman who serves as the executive officer for the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment. He and the battalion staff are positioned on the floor. The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the battalion commander of the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Jared B. Parker. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Torn P. Kern, the senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander.
The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and purses to be honored. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. It is appropriate for soldiers not in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our national anthem is played. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the retirement of two lifelong soldiers. All soldiers begin their journey by graduating from basic combat training. Over the years, there have been changes to how the Army conducts basic training. However, many things remain the same. It was during basic training that these two soldiers were first introduced to the Army values. It is where they learned the importance of teamwork and that the Army truly is a family. That sense of team and Army family is still embedded in what is done here today. Over 20 years ago, these soldiers took the same oath to defend this nation that your loved ones on the field have taken. We salute these great soldiers as they pass the torch of freedom along to this newest generation of soldiers, your loved ones standing on the field today. A certificate of appreciation from the President of the United States is presented to those retiring today. It reads, I extend to you my personal thanks and the sincere appreciation of our grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. You have helped maintain the security of the nation during critical times in its history with a devotion to duty and a spirit of sacrifice in keeping with the proud traditions of military service. I trust that in coming years, you will maintain an active interest in the armed forces and the purpose for which you serve. Those who follow in your footsteps will draw inspiration from your commitment, dedication, and sacrifices made to assure the protections of our American freedoms. My best wishes to you for happiness and success in the future. A certificate of retirement from the Chief of Staff, United States Army, is also presented to those retiring today and to the spouses of today's retirees. The Chief of Staff of the United States Army sends the following certificate. It reads, on the occasion of the retirement of your spouse from active status with the United States Army, you have earned our grateful appreciation for your unselfish, faithful, and devoted service. Your unfailing support and understanding helped to make possible your spouse's lasting contribution to the nation. At this time, Brigadier General Kelly and Command Sergeant Major Oates will recognize our retirees for their service to the United States Army.
Chief Warrant Officer for Edward Ewing, having served honorably for 23 years of service, is placed on a retirement list effective 31 July 2023. Chief Warrant Officer for Ewing entered active duty at Fort Worth, Texas, and resided in Camden, South Carolina. Upon retirement, Chief Warrant Officer for Ewing will enjoy time with his wife, Kay Ewing, and his children, Eddie and Elizabeth, and later become a DA civilian. His fondest professional achievements include becoming a warrant officer. The nation salutes Edward Ewing, Chief Warrant Officer for United States Army, retired. Sergeant First Class Joel T. Leppard, having served honorably for 20 years of service, is placed on a retirement list effective 31 July 2023. Sergeant First Class Leppard entered active duty in Fort Benning, Georgia, and will reside in Midge, Minnesota. Upon retirement, Sergeant First Class Leppard will enjoy time with his wife, Alicia Leppard, and children, Dominique and Magnolia. His fondest professional achievement includes serving in the Army for 20 years. The nation salutes. Joel T. Leppard, Sergeant First Class, United States Army, retired. Please join me in a round of applause for our retirees and their families. Although newly retired, they will always be a part of our Army family. The soldiers most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants, who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. The drill sergeant campaign hat and badge have been a stoic symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, will all past and present drill sergeants please stand as the drill sergeant of the cycle for the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment recites the drill sergeant's creed. Lieutenant Colonel Parker and Command Sergeant Major Kern will now present the awards. The Outstanding Drill Sergeant of the Cycle for the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment is Sergeant First Class Kevin Green from Richmond Hill, Georgia. The Soldier Leader of the Cycle for Charlie Company is PB2 Faith Elu from Los Angeles, California. The soldier of the cycle for Charlie Company is Private Keenan Johnson from Villarica, Georgia. <laughs> the 
The soldier leader of the soccer Delta Company is PB2 Vanessa B. Kenton from Waza, Wisconsin. The soldier of the soccer Delta Company is Private Jordan D. Scott from Phoenix, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander of the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Jared B. Parker. Good morning, Brigadier General uh, Kelly, Colonel Hudnan, Sergeant Major Mrs. Oakes, Colonel White, Sergeant Major Worth, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the families and friends of Team River Raider. On behalf of our Commanding General, Brigadier General Kelly, I'd like to thank you all for your attendance as we honor the accomplishments of Basic Combat Training Class 2302. As this is Retiree Appreciation Day, not only do we have the honor of witnessing the retirement of two seasoned veterans, but we have the honor of hosting a guest speaker for today's ceremony, Master Sergeant Retired, Mr. Ed Ledeen. At Fort Jackson, we make American soldiers. As the we in that statement implies, it is in fact a team effort to produce the finest quality of soldier that this country demands. And before I introduce the guest speaker, I'd like to take a few moments to honor those involved. Family members, thank you for your continual support to and frequent contact with your soldier. They have accomplished much and endured many hardships to stand on the field ready. From early morning physical training sessions, numerous rifle ranges, and arduous field training, they have forever earned the title of soldier. However, their amazing drill sergeants have guided them through it all. This group of elite experts represents the best this Army has to offer. They serve many long days and nights, sacrificing much in the process. Almost all present here today, in the stands and on the field, will forget my name, but none, none will forget the name of their drill sergeant, who remain with them through their journey. They and the rest of Team River Raider know these soldiers here are our legacy, and I ask that you all please join me in a round of applause for these remarkable men and women. Soldiers, you have met the call to service and sacrifice that many in our country are unwilling or unable to make. Less than 1% of Americans elect to serve in the United States military, making you a part of an elite few willing to commit the last full measure of devotion and service to our nation. Take pride in the profession you join. You have met the standard and are ready to learn your chosen crafts. While your victories may have started here, do not let them end here. Our country needs you trained and ready for any situation. Each of you are important to the success of our Army, our nation, and our way of life. Now for our guest speaker. Master Sergeant Retired Edward Lundeen, or Ed as he prefers, as I not go over his complete bio here since it's in the programs. However, here are some important highlights that are certainly worth mentioning. Ed served in the Army from 1984 to 2005, serving his last assignment at the Combined Armed Service Command in Fort Lee, Virginia. A combat veteran during Operation Iraqi Freedom, where he earned his Bronze Star Medal, Ed also served in almost every leadership role our non-commissioned officers could hope to achieve, and has a pleasure to serve in numerous duty stations all over the world until his retirement. In 2011, the Lexington County Legislative Delegation unanimously appointed him as the 8th Lexington County Veterans Affairs Officer and serves veterans and their families in obtaining earned VA benefits. On March 21st, 2023, his peers selected him as the South Carolina Veterans Service Officer of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming to the podium Master Sergeant Retired Ed Lindeen. Brigadier General Mrs. Kelly, Colonel Huffington, Sergeant Major Mrs. Oates, Colonel and Mrs. White, Sergeant Major Mrs. Worth, Lieutenant Colonel Parker, and Mrs. Parker. Sergeant so Major Kern, military retirees, family members, loved ones, and most importantly, retiring soldiers and graduating soldiers. It's a great day in South Carolina. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day, even though we're indoors. Some of these remarks are gonna be like we're on the parade field, so please bear with me. Thank you, Brigadier General Kelly and the Fort Jackson Retiree Council for the privilege of being the guest speaker today. I'm honored and humbled to be here for this basic training graduation of the 360th Infantry Regiment in conjunction with Military Retiree Appreciation Week here 
at beautiful Fort Jackson. I want to speak first to the folks up here with me, see, the parents and loved ones of those that stand in military formation. From this day forward, your lives will never be the same due to the decision your son or daughter made and their commitment that unfolds today. You will worry and fret, but please know this is normal for the loved ones of a soldier. You will become prouder of your soldier every year and you'll immediately notice they are different in so many ways, but it is a good difference. They have chosen a path that will be challenging, demanding, thrilling, adventurous, and fun, but in the long run, it will make them a better person and a better American. To the military retirees here today, thank you for being here and thank you for your service to this great nation. I attended this ceremony several years ago for the first time and it brought back many memories of my service to the nation and the sacrifice of my family. One of you told me that day it felt like you were renewing your patriotism. And I must say, that is exactly what today feels like. We're all renewing our patriotism in the country we call America. To those soldiers retiring today, congratulations. Please know there's life after the Army, and you will embellish it the way we all have with your Army career as your foundation. Build upon this to find your place in society and make a positive difference in your communities. By the way, there's a formation tomorrow morning at 0600 right here. Make sure you're wearing your retiree uniform. <laughs> Just kidding. To the graduating soldiers, congratulations. I salute you. All of you earn and work hard to be allowed your place in that formation today. Those of us up here and your cadre leaders know too well how you feel today because we have walked that walk years before you, and some of us are still walking it. We are counting on you to excel, to be great, to make us proud. We know the importance of this hour and celebrate with you and welcome you, all of you, to the Army family. There is a special group of soldiers here today that hardly ever get recognition, and yet this ceremony wouldn't be as special if they were not here. To the 282nd upstairs behind me, Army Band soldiers, thank you for being here. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your dedication. And most importantly, thank you for the beautiful patriotic music you made today. <laughs> In closing today, families, you're about to hear the Soldiers' Creed and the singing of the Army song. And these traditional recitations band us all together, no matter when we serve, as the Army family. A few years ago, I heard a creed for the first time entitled, The American's Creed, written by William Tyler Page in 1917 as an entry into a patriotic contest that he won. This is a creed for all of us today. Listen to the words, quote, I believe in the United States of America as a government of the people, by the people, for the people, whose just powers are derived from the consent of the governed, a democracy and a republic, a sovereign nation of many sovereign states, a perfect union, one and inseparable, established upon these principles of freedom, equality, justice, and humanity for which American patriots sacrificed their lives and fortunes, I therefore believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flags, and to be flag and to defend all against all enemies, end quote. River Raiders, no ground to give, victory. Thank you. God bless America. Today's soldier is, above all, a warrior, adaptive, confident, and competent. 
As a soldier, you are totally committed to the warrior ethos, grounded in army values, and determined to destroy enemies of the United States of America and her allies. The United States Army Soldiers Creed embodies this commitment. To the soldiers on the floor, the uniform you wear at this moment is more than an outward display of your vocational choice. Your uniform is a symbol of a nation, an unspoken assurance to all who see you that you are a willing and able protector of the freedom spot so arduously for by all who have gone before and those who will bravely come after. You have become what you set out to be, a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as PB2 King presents a certificate of appreciation to the retirees and leads the soldiers standing before you through the reciting of the Soldier's Creed. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the Army song and for the retirement of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. 
On behalf of the commanding general and the men and women of Fort Jackson, thank you for attending today's basic combat training graduation. Family members and friends, please exit the auditorium in a safe and orderly manner. You may meet your soldier back at the company training area. Please remember to take all trash and personal items with you as you exit. Once again, thank you for your attendance. Have a safe journey home and enjoy the rest of your day. Victory starts here.